Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Going Medieval. That's that's where we are today. Yeah, if you guys saw the last video, if you haven't, you should probably go watch it because it was really cool. We're building up this medieval, like, city sort of thing. Uh, kind of rim worldy. like, today is the release day of the game. If you guys want to go check it out, there's a link down below in the video description. But uh, it's not a sponsored video, so you guys can just go check it out. And I figured you'd like to know that because, well, frankly, nobody goes and looks at the video description anyway. Yep, it's just like this empty place of sadness, much like Marriott's soul. Just empty, shoveling a grave for herself. No, 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 no. We're we're living. We're not we're not doing the dying part of it. Anyway, let's get going today. We have some berries to pick. We've got some people going on, and I like what's happening over here. I did want to make a cellar down below. Oh, she's got a mining skill of level 13. That's good, because she has a lot more to go. Let's make her go faster. Work harder! And then she's gonna make a cellar for us below ground so it's nice and cool for our plants and vegetables that were in here, but they're kind of rotting. Can I get inside? Yeah, see there's our food storage in there. It's pretty cool. Also, I recognize something. Yeah, right down here. We have our chronicles that are just being strewn out here. Chronicles in this game are, um, they're basically the research stuff. So you want to get the research points and then you could use them to buy things. But we have them just sitting out here in the stockpile and they're rotting. Which isn't very good. Ooh, we have a shield. Edward needs a shield. And now our stew is rotting. That's fantastic. It would sure be nice if I could build a cellar over here, Marriott. All right, I'm gonna be putting my warfare up in here and apparel. So all of the clothing, hats, and weapons are gonna go inside of this area. We're gonna remove that from this stockpile. No more of that or that because, well, that kind of gets ruined. And then if she ever gets her digging done, we're gonna build a cellar. I swear, I promise, for real this time, we're gonna build a cellar. Yes, work, my peasants. Everybody dig deeper to build yourself a better grave. I mean, did I say that out loud again? Can't say that out loud all the time. They'll start to think it's real. Oh no, a heat wave. Sweat poured from the workers' slick backs. They tired quickly in the blistering heat, wilting the crops, which needed to be tended to harvest quickly before they were withered. They needed to shade some work after sundown. Well, we can do that. Schedule time, <laughs> you know what? And we'll do this. How many hours do they need to sleep? Six? Yikes. Well, you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop, beep, loop. I should just be able to copy that and then paste it all the way throughout. Good deal. That'll work. I'll give them an hour of leisure time in the morning and the night, too. It's not really morning and the night, but you know what I mean. And Kevin and Gateron are stuck. <laughs> they just collapsed on the floor. Oh, wow. You can actually see the heat mirage. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's hot. It's not... It's not... You know what I mean. Settlers accepting... Maybe if they f f dug normal and not got themselves stuck in a hole in the corner, they'd be doing all right now. So what happens when Gateron digs out the place that he's standing? I kind of want to know. Oh, he just kind of teleports his way out. That was nice of him. Oh, no, Kevin has some real problems going on. You know what, bud? Um, why don't you just kind of dig your way out of that hole, too? Yeah, that'll be excellent. He's not the smartest. That's why we named him Kevin. There we go. He's got a ladder now. He can escape. It's not a ladder. It's stairs. You know what I mean. Good news, everyone. The heat wave has ended. But now they're night owls. Actually, I don't know if that's true. But I feel like it could be. Okay, we're going to make our food stockpile way down here underground. Because that's always a good idea. Perfect. I like it. Default food stockpile. Can I make it a higher priority? Doesn't look like it. I'm also out of wood. I need to chop down trees. But nobody wants to chop down trees. When they have digging to do. And they don't actually have digging anymore. Okay, so I just researched f new furniture, which means I'm gonna kill all their beds, just like that, and then make them make new beds before they can go to sleep. That should work out pretty good. There you go, just like that. See, new beds. And it turns out that uh, they forgot to finish their beds because they need a bunch of trees chopped down and I don't have any one chopping trees. So I should maybe make everyone chop trees for just a, like a half minute. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. And everybody, Everybody go chop trees real quick. No, stop eating Edward and Oscar. You guys have to chop down trees. You have to kill them. Kill them all and then turn them into, like, buildings for us. It'll be perfect, I promise. I also like when they have really bad skills. They don't even know how to chop down trees properly. It's like, oh, no, I forgot how to chop down my trees, so I'm just going to run away and hide out of shame. All right, very nice. It looks like everything in here. Are these constructed? Just double check. Make sure we have flooring in here. Yeah, everything's good. We got flooring all the way up. I could put in some torches in here, but I don't think I need them. The cellar seems to be completed now, so I'm excited for that. And I think I do want a second floor on here just for fun. Oh, most of them get to sleep on a bed now. All except for Edward, who's just out here like, Hey, I'm trying to sleep, fellas. 
I'm going to make you make that bed so you can fall asleep properly, dude. There you go. There you go. He's so smart when he can be smart sometimes. Oh, balls. Another heat wave. That's fine because they're still working at night. Ah, oh, dang. Look at all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> they must be breeding like crazy. I should capture them and farm them and then I can use their skin to make clothing. Oh, that should be nice. That'll help me through the winter. I just need to see if that's actually possible. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Defensive structures, cooking, research, armor, blacksmithing. Where's farming in here? Oh, there's also f a smokehouse? Oh, nice. I need that in my life. I found it. It's leather armor. It costs for leather. All right, I think I'm gonna move all of my food production into this room here because it seems like a better space. So we'll do the butchering table and the brewing stand next to it. I'll shove a campfire out front because something about having a campfire inside doesn't make sense in a wooden building. So I'll have the campfire right here. Oh boy. Third coming attacked, armor glinted and penance fluttering, each bearing three white crosses. First they prayed, then they purged the faithless. The church was merciless. Okay. We got to be ready for battle here. I'm not so excited about this, but they got cool weapons that I'm going to be able to um, die from. Not, I was going to hope, I was hoping I could steal them. Maybe our traps out front are going to help out because they're going to have to come in that way, I think. I should maybe make weapons or more traps or just make it so they can't come inside my house. All right, enemies started their attack. Time to get everyone inside. We'll make them drafted and then we'll put them in. Cool. Do I have weapons for everyone? I think so. Edward here has got a, a, a pokey stick. Okay, you can go over here. We got a couple archers. Hopefully they can make it in. Okay, that's a good spot. And then we have a couple guys with, with S words here. Yeah, yeah, come on in. This will be exciting. <laughs> They're gonna get trapped, it'll be funny. Ready, get set, it's nice. Oh, nice. Okay, that really didn't do too much, but he's stuck there. So are you, can you step up a little bit? There you go, there you go. Nice. Okay, that worked pretty good. Oh, you missed. Edward, I think we want to bring you back. Okay, Clement, shoot, those things only worked once. All right, we gotta we gotta take out the, the trash right now. If I focus fire and just run around a little bit better, I think it'll work. Yeah, oh boy, we're in serious doo-doo. Edward's gonna die, that's not cool. Hey, 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 kill him. Real quick. You come back. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Critical condition. We're we're in serious doo-doo right now. Oh, Kevin's gonna go down. Oh, Gateron's in trouble. Okay. Archers for the win. Archers for the win. You missed. Come on, shoot it! Shoot him! Okay. Defeat. Hold up. Um wait, they just straight up left? <laughs> oh no! Okay, that's fine. Clement's dead. Oh, you guys can't hit anything. I'm gonna have to bring these guys. Okay, we, we learned a very valuable lesson about the traps. Oh boy. So, can you carry to an empty bed? Oscar, I need you to carry this guy to an empty bed. All right, we got defeated badly in a raid. That was not good at all. They're dripping, like straight up dripping. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Marriott, I need you to pick up this one too. Kevin, we can't let Kevin die. And you're just gonna go research? Hopefully they get healed because I don't think I have any more medicine. The good news is I have good clothing out of it. Flimsy cudgel, but I got iron helmet. Here, put that on. Give me that big old flimsy wooden shield and sturdy winter clothes in, in the middle of the summer. Here, pick up the good leather ones instead. Okay, Oscar is coming in to tend the wounds. There's a little healing going on. I'm gonna make her so she tends wounds too. All right, tend those wounds up, tend them up. Yeah, nice. Wounds all tended. I think everyone's decent now. A pierced gut, dislocated shoulder, massive concussion. Yikes. All right. So they didn't die. Hopefully they come out of it. We'll see. No, Edward, my dude. My dude, what are you doing? He's going to eat. I guess I'll let him eat. And Oscar just stole his bed. Like, well done. <laughs> Proud of you. Autumn is blustered in. With crisp mornings and cooler's day, it was a season prepared for winter, tailing warm clothing and stocking up on food and supplies. I feel like we didn't get anything done all summer. But at least we have a new uh, new area here to help us brew things like beer and alcohol and other fun stuff. Okay, so ale takes barley, which we have a lot of. I want to produce until I have like 20. We also have the rough wine until we have, I don't know, 20 of that too. Because I definitely don't have herbs to make the actual beer. All right, cool. 
And then this one, we want to produce this. So yeah, we're just gonna do this forever. And now I'm gonna disassemble this one and this one. All right, we're gonna make food until we have 30 as well. And by 30, I mean, I don't know, 50. And then we can delete this one. We can change this stockpile down here that was food. We can turn it into books because that's a good idea. And we'll remove the books from here because they're decomposing. And we only have materials. This is a very big material one. I'm gonna put the textiles in here too for funsies. And Mariette's just sprinkling some love on the deep lacerations and face concussions. <laughs> He's still leaking. Bro, why are you leaking so badly? Oh, don't worry. His neck laceration is still the problem. Dude, maybe just rest for a while. It's just a flesh food. He'll be all right in the morning. Ooh, a new settler has showed up. Um, okay. Yeah, you can come on in, maybe. I can always banish you, but you're really good at harvesting and stuff, so that's amazing. Cutting plants, you're the best that there ever was. I'm so happy you came with us today. And I'm actually really surprised how far this is just ripped out of RimWorld. Like, this entire thing is RimWorld with different names. I really want somebody who's not good at anything so they can just haul. That's what I really... I'm going to tell you what I want, what I really, really want, and that's really, really, really what I want right now. So it's also good to know that uh, you can stack your beds next to each other. I was afraid of that. So in this old, like, cooking area, I'm going to put a smelting furnace and stuff in. I think it could be cool. I don't know if it's going to work right, but I want a sm smelting furnace and a kiln in here. Why is that occupied? Oh, perfect. There we go. Ooh, flourishing Blitztopia grows more influential in the region with each day that passes. More people have subscribed and hit like on this video to attract more viewers and perhaps garner unwanted attention from other channels. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. I don't want to be raided again. I just want to build a peaceful little settlement. Edward, my guy, what are you doing out here, dude? Just go to sleep and stuff. Okay. Uh-huh. Go to bed. What are you doing? Why are you going over there? I don't care if you're hungry. You're sleeping out in the rain, dude. Go lay down in bed. He's got a case of the dumbs in his head. That concussion, was that, was that a big problem for you? I don't understand why you didn't sleep in your bed. That one was open. It was free to you. All right, so let's see what these things can do. Products, we have iron ingots, we have gold ingots, and smelt items from metal. Oh, so we can actually smelt items down. That's really neat. And then this one has clay blocks and coal blocks. All right, so let's do until we have like 20. I don't know how many, let's do 30. Sure, waiting for resources. I don't think we have much clay. I know we don't have iron, that's for sure. But I'm still gonna do it until I have 20. Th 50, Third, 20, that much. And we have to have fuel and I'm assuming the fuel is from here. So we're gonna do until we have 10, that should work. And I'm going to make that the higher priority. Yeah, there we go. Salvation! Well, they're third coming seeking poor sinner. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can help Warren. That's nice. Warren's bleeding, though. A whipped back. My dude! It's not cool. What are you good for skills? Oh, he's a pretty good colonist. He's got a lot of things he likes. He's a really good hunter. I like that. Or he has the priority to become a really good hunter. That's kind of nice, because we need hunting. Because there's bunny rabbits going insane out here. Maybe. Bunnies all disappeared. Oh, balls. More enemies are coming. Uh-oh. See, I told you sleeping outside in the rain was not a good idea. You should have stayed inside when I told you to. I think I need another floor of beds. So we'll just rip that off. Go ahead and make a wooden floor on the top side. And evidently our thing isn't right. So we'll just make the stairs right square in the middle of the floor. That's a good idea. Must only have three blocks of port going on in this place, which is fine. Also, our settlers are suffering from cold, so we should probably get them clothing on. So she's got winter clothes on and a hat. Edward has no hat. Is there? A, there's, is that a spare hat? Yeah, you can wear that. You've got literally nothing, so maybe I'll give you an iron short sword? Or an axe. That sounds fun. Okay, the Zealots demanded that you relinquish Warren immediately to be burned at the stake or possibly... I like him, though. Yeah, we're gonna... You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna stand our ground and hopefully these half naked soldiers are gonna come in and and raid us so we can steal their organs i mean steal their weaponry i want their organs too that'd be fun oh balls are coming that way and i don't have traps set up on that side this could be bad but i do have weapons now somewhat time to change their stances i want aggressive melee people and archers that are gonna flee that's my goal and then you can flee. Yeah, you're also still bleeding. <laughs> I don't know why. 
Whatever, I don't care. I feel like I could go raid them, but then all of their organs... Oh, they started their attack. Okay. Hello, everyone. Nice of you to drop by. Let's uh, go ahead and equip you and make all of you come in here. Good. Excellent. All right, let's do the thing where we get our archers in good spots, protected and cover from people like Oscar. I like that. Where's our other archer? I had two. There you are. Wish I had more shields. I thought I did, but evidently I don't. Here's an idea. Look at me and the big brain. And if only I built a defensive wall for defensive purposes. There you go. Henry's coming in. Henry's naked. Why are they not firing down below? Okay. You know what? Good. Get wrecked. Good stuff. Oh, they're missing. Oh, they're coming straight for us. This might have been a bad idea. All right. Let's move up here. I want everyone just to... At oh, balls. You guys got to come down here. Hey. hey run away. <laughs> run away. Behind the enemy lines. Behind the lines. Okay. Now, all of you guys, we're going to focus fire right here on Svetric. Yeah, just get him destroyed. Trap misfire. Oh, balls. Oh, no. You guys are supposed to flee, remember? You're supposed to flee. Run away. Good. Did we kill one? Yes. Kevin's unconscious. Not Kevin again. Would you see... Goodwin. Would you not do that? Okay, I need you guys to focus fire on... Really? Here. Okay, that works. Good. Okay, Marriott, just keep running around, I guess. Ow! Come here, I said. Kevin's down. Edward's down. Oscar. Okay. I'm, we're actually kind of winning this. I'm impressed with myself. Would you shoot him? He's got a case of the dumbs, this one. He's just ta attacking my campfire. Nice shot. Good. Good. Yeah, I like that. Warren, run away. Bro. You, you're supposed to attack Goodwin here. Remember how this works? He's got the dumbs. Yes, nice. Hey, we're kind of flanked. I don't really like this. Ow. Good. Another one down. Uh-huh. And then, where are you going? Right over here. Marriott. Okay, Warren. Warren got the attack. Run away. Run away. Good job. I think we might win this. Hey! hey! We did it. Heavy blow. The raiders flee. Just five enemies died. Okay. Okay. Kevin was... Kevin took the most damage and he was the bestest. Okay, I'm going to hunt them down though, though. You guys are not allowed to flee. Can I capture him? I want to capture him and interrogate him and steal his organs. Oh yeah, he's dead. You know what? His weaponry is good too. We'll just take his weapons. Nicely done. All right, everyone's good to go. I need somebody to take Kevin to his bed. Yeah, I took the gimpy guy. No, you know what? On second thought, you, you're going to bed anyway, so might as well just carry Kevin. Now we have all this clothing here I'm super impressed with. We're going to take all of that, and then that'll keep us nice and warm all winter long. Except the naked ones. They didn't have clothes. Nice. It looks like it's finally done. That will make them sleep a little better at night. I'm going to slap in a bunch of beds up here because I need more beds. Wooden hay bed. Yeah, that'll work. And I did like the thing where I did every other, but it's not going to work over there. It might. I don't know. We'll just go with it. Pretend it's going to work. I guess I can levitate on the stairs and everything will be all right. Oh, balls. Unexpected thunder roar crashed through the blue sky. A violent presence. A bad omen. Uh, all right. Lightning strike storm? I don't really want to cancel these. They are resetting them. I didn't think they could be reset, but little lie I know. Oh, boy. Where'd that lightning strike happen? Whoa! <laughs> uh, okay. That's fine. It didn't kill me. It didn't hit the base. I didn't like that. Ooh! Why is it thunderstorming when it's negative 7 degrees Celsius? That's thunder snowing. Oh, thunderstorm ended. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty confident now. Like, we have a good shelter set up with lots of things. Our wall is nice and defended. I built up a buttload of spike traps around the outside. I think we're actually in a really good spot. We got a bunch of clothes to get us through the winter, too, and I think that's what we're going to do next here. Oh, they're becoming annoyed again. <laughs> I should probably give them some more leisure things to do, like, I don't know, whatever this thing is. There, you can have that. I'll even put it over here for you. And most of the time, it's just because they're, like, hungry and thirsty and saw dead bodies. But we got rid of the bodies, so that's good. There's no evidence of what we just did. So let's get these guys some hats. Iron helmet, I, I think. Why not, right? 
Let's give you an iron helmet. You get an iron helmet. You get an iron helmet. You can have a leather helmet. Edward, I'll give you a, a leather hat. Maybe I should give the archers leather hats. Yeah, that's a good idea. Boop. And guys with like pokey sticks, you can have the iron helms. That's a better idea. Look how smart I can be sometimes. Give these guys some shields too, because we have some extras. Kind of like the idea of having like an axe. There you go. An axe and a shield rather than just a big spear. Just for the defense. Very nice. Well, our team is assembled. They've got all the gear that they need right now. And I'm excited for them. So that's going to do it for today's video of Going Medieval. I forgot the name of the game there for a second. So keep your stick on the ice. We will catch you next time. Bye. And I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member.